what you wanted. Yeah, absolutely. We were doing everything right. Uh, you know, we were up playing when, uh, you know, you got to put the cap to Dubnik over there. He made some terrific saves to keep him in it there through two periods. And, you know, Slav had a heavy shot there that was able to find its way in. And, you know, it uh, kind of took a little pressure off everybody, and you know we, we, we did a great job the whole game as far as uh, defensive zone not giving them much. Our PK was huge. That double minor that we had to face in the third, and you know, it was uh, you know we got what we came here for, two points. If the board was right there, they didn't even get a shot on goal in that, in that four minutes. Uh. Yeah, no, I, uh, I I I noticed that. You know, we did a great <laughs> job. They, you know, I think maybe once or twice they were even able to set up, and they, you know, we kind we kind of shut down everything that they they wanted to get going. Toughest save of the night. Was there a tough one more than another? I don't know, yeah, everything has its own challenges, you know, every safe, uh, you know, brings its own challenges, so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Four straight games against non-playoff teams for you guys, what, what does it mean to pick up these points? You have to pick up the two points no matter what, but these are teams that are kind of playing loose right now, not a whole lot to play for, yet you're still picking yeah, up the key that, points. Yeah, but at the time Calgary was a playoff, you know, they might not have been in the top eight, but they were pointing out, you know, they were in the same situation we were, so that, that was a, you know, playoff-like game week. Uh, but, you know, obviously, yeah, these last three, they're, you know, they mathematically they're out, but, you know, they're still talented teams. They still bring a lot to the table. And obviously, like you said, they're, uh, you know, they're playing loose. They have nothing to lose. They're just out there, uh, you know, some are fighting for jobs for next year. And, you, you know, you, you, everybody has their own reason to play. And, uh, you know, just because it's they're not in the playoffs doesn't mean they're not going to bring a, a strong game to the table. You know you're in the Vesna conversation. Do you have any comment about that? <laughs> Uh, we got. Uh, we want to win the division here. That's all we're. That's all I am and the team is focused on right now. We got two huge games coming up here, and uh, you know all we're doing is preparing for uh, San Jose in a couple days. That's it. Got to feel nice though to see your name atop the uh, shutout leaders in the NHL with ten now. Well, I don't. I, I don't look, so I don't. You know. Uh, I guess that's. Uh, it is. You know, an honor to be up there. And it's. Uh, you know. It, it's a credit to how well this team's played in front of me. You look at my last two shutouts, you know, I was 19 shots each game, maybe 19, 18, whatever it was, and, you know, not too many quality chances. So that's, uh, you know, the team's making it a lot easier on me, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, it goes a long way. With as tight as this race has been, does a three point cushion maybe feel a little bigger than it normally would? Uh, it does, you know, it's what you one game, you know, it doesn't matter what the points are, we, we have, we're not in yet, you know, so it's. We got a huge game coming up in a couple of days, and it doesn't matter where anybody is in the standings, what the points are. You know, we, we're going there to, you know, get two points, and you know, that's it. Thanks, John. Thank you.